Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. On our menu today is a menu? We want to show you ways to make your Figma file easier to browse and navigate. Since we share our files directly, it's important to think about how people viewing our file for the first time will find their way around. Figma gives us a few good ways to add wayfinding to our files, but it'll take intentional practice to make it a daily habit and part of your design workflow. A lot of the time, a PM or developer partner will open your file and see something like this. Yikes. There are frames and screenshots everywhere. How would anyone know where to look? Compare what you just saw to this, a file that has been treated more like a product than a design file. Here are a few key things that make this initial experience good. Large titles split up the key sections of the page. Even when the file loads all the way zoomed out, I can tell where I need to go first. As I zoom in, we can see that there are descriptions under the titles that give even more information. This file also has icons, arrows, stickies, and other visual elements to call out important thoughts and questions the designer had while designing. Did you know you can copy and paste things like stickies and connectors from FigJam into Figma? Try it out sometime. Some people are drawn to visuals, so the canvas is their starting point, while others look for pages and layers to find out what this restaurant is offering. Let's focus our attention on the layers panel on the left. Does this look familiar to you? I know I've got files that look just like this. I would have zero idea where to start looking. One of the first habits we can form is to make sure our layers are in order from top to bottom, just like they are in the canvas. Let's fix that real quick. Next, we'll want to rename layers so that they have context and meaning built in. Best case scenario, every single layer has a name. At the minimum, name top level frames or groups. To rename layers, double click on the frame or select it and press Command R. We have an entire video about bulk renaming that you should check out if you want to get efficient at cleaning up layer names. Figma prototypes give us some of this for free when we create multiple flows. We can name them and add descriptions. Check out our prototype video to learn more about that. What if we want a little more control and customization? Enter the table of contents or intro frame. Take a look at this frame. We have a title, date, author, there's an area for linking to different parts of a prototype. You can even add details like metrics, project goals, phases, you name it. Click play on these prototypes. As we move through these sections, pressing R will reload back to the beginning of the prototype. You could also create a component that links back to the intro frame and place it inside every content frame. Take this home icon, turn it into a component by pressing Option Command K. In the prototype mode, drag a connection from this new icon component to our prototype intro frame. Now we can paste this wherever we want and the connection works everywhere. I promised a menu, so here's a menu. One of the best ways I've found to help people find what they need in my Figma files is a table of contents. With our prototype intro frame concept in mind, why not make a menu for our entire file? Here you can see a table of contents frame that contains all the necessary information and links for someone to find what they need in this file. This is a really powerful way to make Figma files that become resources an entire team uses. To create a link to another part of our file, we'll need to copy the URL. Let's add a link to another frame on this page. Over in the frame we want to link to, right click, mouse over copy paste as, and click copy link. We can now go over to our text node in the table of contents, select it, press the shortcut command K, and paste in the link we just copied. Now, when we click on this text, a tooltip appears with the link to our frame. This works for pages and prototypes as well. For pages, right-click on the page name and press Copy Link to Page. For prototypes, we need to play the prototype, right-click on the tab and select Copy Link or the shortcut Command-L. We can do the same thing we did in our prototype and make a component that links back to our Table of Contents frame. Let's take this Back to Table of Contents text and turn it into a component. Now we can grab a link to our table of contents frame and turn our text into a link. Place this anywhere you need a quick link back. That's how you help others find their way around a Figma file. I hope this Figma bite helps you wayfind willingly while working wisely. Thanks for watching.